Hey, AP students, it's uh, Mr. Wood here. I um, have some big, big announcements. If you haven't done so yet, go to our class website and go to um, Mr. Heimler's video and watch that. He gives all the information you're going to need. I'm going to explain some too. But let me first tell you that um, our AP exam has greatly, greatly, greatly changed since the last time that I spoke to you. So let me go over some of the things that I put up on the website. Number one, the AP exam can be will be taken at home. You will no longer be meeting in a large group to take this exam because of the coronavirus. So you need to make sure you have good internet access, high speed internet access where you can take this test and you're not going to have your computer bug out or anything. If you have doubts about this, email me and we can see what we can do. I can work with Ms. Bird. We can work with maybe some spaces for you to be able to take it. Possibly, I don't know yet. Or maybe getting you a hotspot or getting you some kind of way for you to have high-speed internet access so you can be successful on this test. You guys have worked real hard. We don't want a bad internet connection to be a problem or not having a device to be a problem. Um, number two, the exam will now only be 45 minutes long. And I think that's because they want to avoid cheating. And no multiple choice. And I think they have that because they want to avoid cheating. So most teachers are predicting this is going to be some form of SAQ or LEQ. That could be to our advantage. We've nailed the LEQ in the past. And we usually score about national average on the SAQs. This could be a good thing. Okay. 45 minutes? Yeah. Not that much time. But... We're going we're gonna to review and we're going to start practicing. So next, the test is only going to cover eras 1 through 6. So no era 7, 8, and 9. So until the exam, we are not going to cover 8 and 9. So that 8.1, 8.4 packet, put it away. Don't throw it away. Put it away. Don't throw it away. We may come back to that after the exam is done. So we'll see what we do after the exam. But we might do some pro some like projects, presentations, and things with the last two eras. But just keep that packet around. You might, you might still need it. Okay? Don't know yet. And we are going to finish 7.6, 7.8. We're almost done. We're going to get that done. That's going to be the last thing we do. And that will be our last standards. Yes, they're graded as standards. Yes, they need to be done. All work for 7.6, 7.8 has been given a one-day extension. So you can get that done until tonight at 11.59 if it's not done. Now, tomorrow I'm planning on having some kind of review packet for you. I've ordered the packets for you guys from Heimler's History. We are planning on using those. I've made uh, review packets in the past, but I'm suddenly going from having, you know, like um, a month to prepare your review packet to having now. So I may have that for you tomorrow. I may not. Come back to the website tomorrow at 10 a.m. If I don't have a review packet, I'll have something for you to do in class to prepare you for this game. Possibly, I'll give you time to do that review game that I sent you that many, some of you may have started, many of you may not have, may not have had time. Um, I may find some SAQs for you to do, but there will be work that will help you prepare for this exam. I'm going to try my best to have a review packet ready for you ASAP. It might come in different parts, like... Um, unit one, unit two, and then gradually we will go. But I'll have that for you. Let me go over a couple of things here for some uh, last minute on 7.6 to 7.8. Now, the multiple choice needs to be done. You may cut and paste these. You don't need to um, uh, actually have this document. As long as you can see it and you can copy and paste this, you may copy and paste this and turn it into turnin.com for multiple choice, 7.6, 7.7, 7, 8 on turnin.com right there. Your LEQ goes right here where you turn that in. Some of you have turned that in yet, but it's okay. It's not due till tonight, 11.59. I get it. If that was my due date, I'd probably be finishing this thing up like at 8 o'clock at night. Don't finish this up at like 11 o'clock at night, please. All right, <clears throat> so get that turned in. But I need to bring up something that some of you didn't do. Maybe you thought it was optional. But that is our LEQ graphic organizer as a group. This is due, and I'm going to grade it. So if you have your name on here and you've put your stuff in there already, awesome. If it, your name's there and it's blank, you ain't getting those points. All right, so this does need to be 
done. So if you've already written your essay and you just didn't put it in here, you could just kind of copy and paste it, I guess. But the reason why I want you to do this is because if someone's struggling with the essay, they can look at your examples um, and put them in here. I'll say context and thesis statements are optional. You can put those in, but those are optional. But the CEE part needs to be done, and I am going to grade it. Um, so let me find our rubric for this, our grading rubric, and how this is going to work. So I'm not going to get a real chance to look at your notes. I'm actually not going to grade those this time. I might find a way to do notes with the review packet. We'll see. So the group graphic organizers were six points. And if you did it, two CE paragraphs, and it's well done, you're going to get those six points, kind of like how I grade your notes. I'll be a little quick with that grading, just making sure you did it, follows directions, all good. Multiple choices worth 18 points, nine points for the correct answers, nine points for your reasons. So if you have good reasons, you got nine points out of there. That'll help your grade quite a bit. And then lastly, the actual LEQ is worth 56 points. And this is the rubric that I will use. Um, you can see here with a group graphic organizer being worth six, and you can only lose 12 points to keep a 4.0. You really want to get that done. And you really want to make sure your multiple choice is done. If you don't do these two, you lose 24 points and you can't pass. So you have to do multiple choice and the LEQ graphic organizer. Lastly, um, reach out. Um, if anyone can contact um, Ava and Amy, please do so immediately. We need them to be on here and to be getting work done too. I just want to make sure they're successful like everybody else. Okay? So you guys, uh, keep up the great work. I'm going to have something for you tomorrow. You have today to get 7.6, 7.8 done. If you're already done, here is my suggestion. If you are already done, I suggest you go to the website and you go back to distance learning, day one, and you go to the review game and play this review game. Go on here. Go to the link, here's codes for all of them, and go through a couple rounds. And I would, if you like do it the first time, you don't do well, I'd do it again to make sure you get better and you learn these key concepts. Really gonna be important. At this point for AP, a lot of this is now leaving my hands and going to you for how much you wanna practice. And one way to do that is to do the review game. So I highly encourage you to do the review game. I'll link it on today's one as well. So that is what we got for today. You guys have done an awesome job. We can finish this thing. We can make adjustments. We're used to doing things online and watching videos online already. So I think we're going to be okay as long as you can keep doing the work. As usual, email me if you have any questions or concern. Please communicate any questions or concern. Please don't disappear. If you guys disappear and don't do your work right now, it's going to affect you. So please stay in contact. All right, guys, you're awesome. I hope I can see you again soon. We'll just see how things go and right now this coronavirus thing. All right. Talk to you later.